Uh, so this is Casey. Um, so this is a patient with uh, glycogen storage disease, known glycogen storage disease. Uh, this is a, a three-phase uh, CT, arterial venous proteins. Can you describe to me what you see? Uh, so we see multiple peripherally, enhan or peripherally arterially enhancing mass-like structures in the liver, mostly in the right hepatic lobe. Uh, they're hypodense. Um, and then they don't have washout on portal venous phase. They're just isodense. Okay. Uh, well, so what's your differential diagnosis? Well, the liver doesn't really look... Cirrhotic. Young patient. Yeah, young patient, no cirrhosis. So HCC is storage. less likely. Okay. There's some, I mean... Anything else? Like a hemangioma, you think? Hemangiomas, okay. What other, what other lesions? In patients with glycogen storage disease. I don't know specifically in that setting. Okay. Um, so this case, anyone else? Um, ooh, hot boy. Um, so this is a case of, um, so adenomas. Mm. Um, so, Patients with glycogen storage disease, um, they are known to have get aden adenomatosis, uh, typically type three um, adenomas. Um, so type three adenomas are associated with glycogen storage disease. Uh, there's three types of adenomas, HNF1 alpha, that's the one that contains intracytoplasmic fat, um, inflammatory, and the last one is beta catenin. Um, the, the inflammatory adenomas are the ones that are felt to be uh, most likely to bleed. Uh, so uh, based on this radiographics paper, I sort of created this flow diagram. So if you suspect is an adenoma or it's on your list, the first question you have to ask is, is there intracytoplasmic fat or not? Remember, this is the non cirrhotic patient, young patient with glycogen storage disease. Um, so um, if, it, if it's um, fatty, then it, it, it's an HNN, HNF1 alpha adenoma. Um, if it's not, then the question is, does it persist on portal venous? And if it persists, then it's inflammatory. Um, and these are the ones that bleed. Um, and then if it washes in and washes out like an HCC, then these are the beta catenin subtype of adenomas. And these are the ones that transform um, into HCC. So in this patient, um, if you look at the portal venous, so he has type three, that inflammatory type, and it persists, right? It doesn't really wash out. Yeah. So you. you you correctly identified the masses enhancing and it doesn't really wash out like you expect for um, uh, beta catenin adenomas. Good. So this is um, type three inflammatory adenomas.